Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the starting 11 show and it's Republic of Ireland versus Wales in the UEFA Nations League. This is our third Nations League game. Obviously we had two last month and we've won this Sunday and one against Finland then as well this week. So uh, I'm going to get straight in and my goalkeeper is going to be Mark Travers. The reason I'm choosing Mark is I just feel as though he probably deserves a chance. He's been travelling with the squad to a lot of the different games and hasn't gotten a look in yet and probably could do with maybe getting a game and then that might propel him in terms of his club form and get me in ahead of Begovic if he can produce a good performance maybe against Wales it will be between himself and Randolph I, I don't see maybe Stephen picking Travers one half and having you know Kelleher in for the second half I think Mark would be in goal for the full game if he is to be picked uh, but this is the, the start 11 I would like to see not necessarily the start 11 that Stephen is going to pick so it's not like a predicted 11 it's the start 11 I would like to see and especially after you know extra time and penalties the other night a lot of players will be rested in this case so it'll be having a little bit of fun with this one so at right back I'm going to go with Cyrus Christie Matt already pulled up uh, before penalties in extra time it looked like he had a bit of a hamstring strain I was surprised he stayed on Cyrus Christie had been warmed up togged out looked like he was about to come on and then Matt Doherty stepped back on the pitch but I feel as though after extra time the other night and you know Spurs just after signing him I think Mourinho probably has been in Stephen Kenny's ear saying not to risk playing Matt Doherty and Cyrus is there so why not give him a game he's, he's shown that he's capable at step up if needs be at this level so why not give him a game um, seeing as though Seamus is out as well with a similar injury so uh, I would play him in there Kevin Long comes in for me at centre back then in place of John Egan again just purely down to the fact that John Egan played the whole game against Slovakia um, not that John's done anything wrong he was absolutely superb same as Shane Duffy so I've just gone with Kevin Long to come in there then I've gone with Derek Williams alongside him to replace Shane Duffy, who again has played a lot of games recently with Celtic, which is great. But maybe he could do with a little bit of a rest and come back in against Finland then uh, during the week. So I feel as though that that would be a solid three. And then I would go probably with James McLean at left back. He's played left back a few times for Stoke, especially last season, uh, towards the start of the season. So I feel as though he could do that job, no problem. Might be a little bit sceptical. It, it depends if Gareth Bale is there or not now as well. I understand that. But I think McLean is capable of doing it if he is told to kind of sit back and just defend, not get forward. I think that's why. Because, again, I feel as though Ender Stevens could do with a breather after playing the full game the other night as well. And the whole defence, maybe um, bring in a new defence and just, you know, see how they get on. I'm worried that Stephen might look to want to win this game purely down to the fact that we don't want to get relegated from the Nations League but at the same time he will have to use his squad for these games and I feel as though this is the game to do it because of the extra time the last game we played so uh, then in midfield I would recall Josh Cullen in the midfield in place of James McCarthy who again is injured so Josh to come in there and do what he did in his two friendlies previous against uh, Bulgaria and New Zealand where he was absolutely fantastic sitting in that midfield area he got man of the match in one of the games might have got it in the two games but uh, I thought he was really really good and probably unlucky not to get in place of, of Glenn Whelan then be overlooked and then pulled back into the squad but he missed out on the 24 man or 23 man match day squad against Slovakia so why not get him in for this one I think it's the perfect game to bring him in and give, give him a good look he's just up to sign him for Andelect so it'll be good good time to just have a look at him and see how he's getting on and uh, see how sharp he is as well wouldn't be a bad time to get him in uh, then I would be looking at putting Jason Malumbi in alongside him and just again I spoke earlier about Mark Travers maybe getting a good performance in and that might propel him at club level. I think the same thing could happen here with Jason Malumbi. He's played a couple of games in the Carabao Cup, which you know is kind of like a reserve team cup at the moment, where a lot of people are just using their the second string for that. And then he's not really featuring in Premier League games or Premier League squads. So 
I would like to see Jason come in, have a good performance. We know what he's all about. He's all action, midfield, gets stuck in. And uh, that's probably what we're going to need in this game, energy in midfield. Because we've played Wales in the past and we've got overrun that midfield area. But he'll be looking to get in and make an impression, I think, if he gets the chance or gets the nod. And then in front of him, Jack Byrne. So it's a midfield three of Josh Cullen, Jason Malumbi and Jack Byrne. Jack Brown's been absolutely unbelievable for Shamrock Rovers and he's the reason why they're sitting where they are at top of the League of Ireland and he's just every week you watch him he just he just does something outrageous you think of that goal he scored against Dundalk you know every time he gets a corner it's almost a goal for Shamrock Rovers so I think getting Jack in there getting him on the ball and that midfield has legs and energy and quality so I think he could mix in well with that midfield you know, show what he can do like he did against New Zealand. And uh, I think it's the perfect time to probably put him in there. You know, if he's Stevens called him up, we might as well use him. Otherwise, it'd be an absolute waste just calling him up for absolutely nothing. So I, I put him in there. That would be my midfield three. And, you know, I would like to see your thoughts on that midfield three in the comments. Then out on the left wing position, I would probably go with Shawnee Maguire. He's been pulled in by Stephen Kenny, like Daryl Horgan. But I feel as though when Shawnee Maguire played left wing against New Zealand and obviously scored that goal, I thought he was quite effective out there. And I think he could give us something different. And I'd like to see him in this new Stephen Kenny system and see what he's like on that left hand side coming in off the flank and get a couple of shots off. You know, he obviously scored against New Zealand as I mentioned from that position. So you know, why not give him a go there? And then on the right-hand side, I'd probably go with Robbie Brady. So cutting in on his left foot, I think Robbie Brady is fantastic. And again, I go back to that, you know, maybe getting some minutes over this international period could do him wonders in terms of getting back in for Burnley. I know a couple of weeks ago he went off with a rib injury, but he looked good against Slovakia. And I feel as though if he could start this game and maybe do something from a set piece or maybe score a goal, that his confidence would be you know, up and he could probably feature again against Finland or at least go back to his club, you know, full of confidence and coming back in and getting a bit of a run of form because it's been so long since he's had a bit of run of form consistently in the Premier League. So that's why I've gone with Robbie Brady there. And then up front, down through the middle, I'm going to go with Shane Long. And I think a lot of people feel like he didn't get much of a run in last month's games and this one as well. So I feel as though Putting Shane Long in this team, I think that provides energy all over the park. You've got McLean at left full. You've got Cyrus Christie at right full. You've got the midfielders, Cullen, Byrne, Malumbi. And then you've got Brady, Maguire, Long. They're all, they're all grafters. They're all going to you know give you that work ethic that you want. I just think it's a fun 11 that could cause problems for the Welsh. And I think... This game will probably be a bit of a free hit because it's straight after the Slovakia game and players have played so many minutes that I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the players that I've selected in this team actually get the chance to, to play. But um, let me know your thoughts because I know there's players like Callum O'Dowd and stuff like that who probably deserve a chance to start as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who would you have in your starting 11? Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.